Welcome back! Thank you for tuning in. If you're not watching this the day it was released, it was recorded March 15th, 2020. Our guest uh, hi. is sitting here. Hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name's Comrade Trip. How, how, how are you? Not well, but, you know. Well, that's good. It's been worse. It is getting worse. Yeah, I guess. What, like, moment by moment? What would you define a moment being? To me, a moment is like a small section of right now. How many moments have gone by since we started this interview? I think so far, one moment. Oh. I'd say another moment is about to start now. Do you consider yourself to be a silly Billy? To be silly and Billy? Is that two words or one word, silly Billy? I think it's a phrase. I can't say that I do, but if I could be a phrase, I would I would want to be silly Billy. That sounds... So you fancy yourself a bit of a serious pony? Yeah, more so than a silly Billy, I am a serious pony. That makes sense. It's a lot of serious stuff going on. I'm all business. Business in the front, business in the back. Yeah. Like some kind of a business mullet. I'm a molly bully. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me, the way I'm hearing it. How do you hear? I got a complicated system of uh, the one thing that vibrates off the other thing. Oh, like uh, like gills, but for sound. See, you get it. I love the vest also. Well, thank you. That's beautiful. I love your vest. Thank you. This is going to be the vest episode of the show. Are you feeling your vest? Because I'm feeling my vest. I see. You, use, you button yours. Should I, I button? Do. Should I button? Should we be... You don't have to button it if that's not what you like to do. I like to conform to other people's whims. Well, then I'd say, yeah, button it. Okay. Button that thing up. Let's go as fast as I can. Oh, I buttoned them wrong. I missed a button. Oh, no. Should I... Yeah, fix it. Yeah, fix that. This is taking a while. We got all the time we need to get to the bottom of things, to discover truths. I buttoned them wrong again. I've never you buttoned You can just leave my... it unbuttoned. I think it'll be all right. If yeah, you... I've, I've never buttoned my vest before. So. That's not everybody has. Yours are buttoned correctly. What's your what's your trick? What's your trick to not buttoning them incorrectly twice uh, in a row? So typically when I'm buttoning my vest, I like to put the right button through the right buttonhole. Mm, how do you... Oh. The correspondent, the one that it was placed for. Do you apply that to all facets of your life? I, I try to. Whatever the button may be, I try to put it in the correct buttonhole. That's all. I guess mine's the opposite than just I'm always apart. You're like an open sort of dude. Yeah, just yeah. anything can get in there. Anything at all. You're, uh, you're vulnerable that way. I have several vulnerabilities. One of them being the vest. That's probably the top one. Number one. Number one. People don't talk about vest vulnerability that much. Yeah, it's a great phrase, vest vulnerability. I think that could be the next popular phrase in self-help. Are you popular in helping selves? I don't know that I am, but if I could be, I wouldn't be so mad. You're mad? God, I, no! Did I do something? No. I'm sorry that I couldn't do the buttons right. That's okay. okay. Lightning round, what's your top five vests? Go! Uh, this one, it's brown. Uh, another one is fish. I have one that's blue with a little tugboat on it. Very cool. I have one that's like darker blue with a haunted house and like jack-o'-lanterns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I have a nice Christmas one. That's fun. Yeah. Those are fun. Top three kinds of upholstery. Go. Whatever this is. This one? Yeah, this one. It's pretty nice. I don't like denim on upholstery. Though. I did not ask what you don't like. Uh, it's hard to... Uh, I am putting you on the spot. Satin. Good. Satin. Good Great. Wonderful. Fair. I appreciate the effort. Yep, I'm putting in effort. Do you have any uh, family? You could say that. I've got folks who look like me. I only ask because I set up a joke. Can I tell a joke? What is a joke? Well, here's, here's one. My father... He has two brothers, and both of them just got married, so I have two nuance. Nuance? But some people would think that's a joke. I think I don't get it. You, you probably don't want to get it. Okay. That's what a joke is. Something you don't really want. It's something that no one needs. That's awesome. Oh! Nuance! Nuance! God damn it. Did you write that? Yeah, I came up with it. That's good. That's Thanks. really good. Where do you keep your soy sauce? I have two bottles. I have one in, in my car right now. Okay. And then one, one in the fridge. Interesting. And I have packets that I keep in the sauce packet drawer. That sounds like a lot of soy sauce to keep track of. Yeah, a lot of soy sauce that I don't have to keep track of because it's everywhere. Everywhere I look, I eat a lot of rice. So. How much of the world's soy sauce supply do you 
plan to acquire? I don't need much. Because some of that, the soy sauce has been in my car for like three years, unopened, so. You haven't even opened it yet? No, it's, it's emergency soy sauce. You just haven't had a soy sauce emergency? I've had some, but I just, there might be a worse one. I need the whole unopened bottle for. You're being cautious. Waiting for the big one. The big white rice yeah. mountain. Do you rap? I, I do some poetry. It's not great. But... Would you freestyle for it for me? Uh, do, do I have any preparation time at all? Take whatever time you need. I'll do like three bars and then I might pass out. Okay. All right. I'll lay it down. I go from point A to point B to point C to point D, trying to find the trigonometry of the gig economy. As the voices grow to a big cacophony, till they figure it out and they're on to me, and then I die. Heck yeah! That was great! I just discovered rap music and I'm really into it. I've noticed that a lot of people are aware of it. Mm. I'm getting closer to figuring it out. You're close. You're right. I feel like I'm right there. Yeah, the button's going through the buttonhole. I don't want to brag, but I think I got the right buttonhole. I'm proud of you. What's the ideal amount of people? To start with or to end with? Yeah, to start, to start a colony in the jungle. Are there other creatures? Definitely. Probably like 30, 30 people. 30 people, because then you can divide into groups. Yeah. And uh, start bands. Make weird movies and do puzzles. When you're climbing steps, do you go multiple steps at a time or do you go one by one? I like to take it one by one. I just, I'm one never sure what I'm going to get. I fall down a lot of them. It's a pretty good system. So, uh, how do people, uh, where, where can they look to see what you're up to? I'm on uh, Instagram, TikTok, at Comrade Trip. What are the three main elements of Commedia dell'arte? Well, people say that comedy is tragedy plus time. I don't really feel like I have a lot of time left, so my comedy is just tragedy. So that's one tragedy. Two would be this moment now. We've probably about wrapped up this second moment. We reached the peak. We could still be climbing. We might be climbing for a while still. The air is getting thin. So. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, ration your breath. But it's, uh, you know, fun, right? It could be. It could be fun. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Tune in again next time for our guest, Hank Spanky, and musical guest, Outdated Atlas.